Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFF in Europe. This is the second of six training tapes dealing with false start. Today we're looking at the, the specific uh, variety where the offense never gets set for a full second before they snap the ball. So we'll look at, at how much is too much and how little is too little. And, and we'll talk about uh, the mechanics of, of how to catch it and the philosophy behind how we want to rule on these types of situations. But before we get to the, to the game film, let's have a look to see what the rule book and the MOFO have to say on this topic. In the rule book, we go to rule 712 dealing with false start. Each of the following is a false start by team A if it occurs prior to the snap, after the ball is ready for play, and all players are in scrimmage formation. 1. Any movement by one or more players that simulates the start of a play. 2. The snapper moving to another position. And 3. A restricted lineman, according to rule 227.4, moving his hand or making any quick movement. As for the exceptions, 1. A. It is not a false start if a team A lineman immediately reacts when threatened by a team B player in the neutral zone. B. It is not a false start if the snapper takes his hand off the ball provided this does not simulate the start of a play. And then 4. It is also a false start when an offensive player makes a quick jerky movement before the snap included but not limited to a alignment moving his foot shoulder arm body or neck in a quick jerky motion in any direction b the snapper shifting or moving the ball moving his thumb or fingers flexing his elbows jerking his head or dipping his shoulders or buttocks c the quarterback making any quick jerky movement that simulates the beginning of a play and D, a back simulating receiving the ball by making any quick jerky movement that simulates the beginning of the play. And finally, five, the offensive team never coming to a one second stop prior to the snap after the ball is ready for play. This is an illegal shift that converts to a false start. In the MOFO, we go to section 3-2 definitions. Examples of conspicuous, conspicuous fouls that should be called, even though they might otherwise be disregarded as not serious, include F, false start by a back, tight end, or receiver. In section 3-3, non-contact fouls, false start says, movement by an offensive player is not a false start unless either, one, he moves one or both feet, two, it is sudden, or three, it causes a defensive player to move in reaction. If a running back misses the snap count, makes a sudden movement, and then stops abruptly, it is a false start. If he was generally going into motion, he wouldn't stop. And finally, uh, if in doubt as to whether movement was prior to the snap or not, it was not. Don't be picky on this. Now, let's have a look at some game film. For this type of false start, initially we're looking at the entire, uh, the entire group of, of offensive players and everybody's moving around. Now, everybody has to sit, uh, get stationary for a full second, so it's not enough that 10 get stationary and then the, the, the tackle closest to the camera here does this almost sumo type start where he he shoots out right as his hand uh, touches the ground so even though he is the only one left moving um, we still have to have all 11 stationary for a second uh, for this not to be a foul and uh, when in question we would much rather have this as a false start as as a as an illegal shift but in this case uh, this this should have been called as a false start the same principle applies here as a wing you're looking 
at the entire formation and you notice that that not everybody is set and then if we look at the tight end here he never really gets to be set which means and uh, and, and the tackle uh, doesn't either so uh, we kind of have to have that sense that uh, that, that we're looking for everybody to get set and if that doesn't happen then we have to be ready to shut it down even though it doesn't you know when they're when they're coming up like this it doesn't look like the ball is is ready to be snapped uh, so we have to really uh, be ready to to shut this down because this is uh, not an illegal shift this is a false start and we shut this down correctly This is some sort of a punt formation, but uh, the same principles apply in here. The, the wing back nearest to the camera, he never really gets set. And you could argue that the slot back hardly gets set either. And there, and there are several players also on the other side of the ball. Uh, so again, you really have to be, as a wing, you have to be ready uh, to kill this, uh, even though it doesn't look like the snap is imminent, uh, because again, this is a false start. On this play, obviously, initially we're looking at everybody moving, but then we're looking at the slot back at the top of the screen, who's going to be the culprit here. Uh, so he goes into motion before uh, everybody gets set, and uh, and he is, you know, pretty much in in legal motion, uh, or the motion part is legal, um, but. Uh, so if everybody had been set before he went into motion, that would have been legal. But because he starts before the entire line goes down and he is still in motion at the snap, uh, this is illegal and this is the type of thing we want to shut down for a false start. We don't want this to turn into a 50-yard uh, a pass or, or a 40-yard pass for a touchdown and then we pull it back for a technical uh, a foul here so we would much rather uh, shut it down false start and move on to the next play same principle applies here everybody's moving around so we know that that's a, that's a factor and then you know right now number two goes into motion while people are still moving around that needs to be an indicator for the wings that this is a, a potential issue because if he's still in motion when the ball is snapped, which is, is the case here, simply because he goes into motion while people are still moving around, both the tight end or, or what would be the tight end and, and the split end here, uh, are moving around, uh, this would then convert into a false start. So here we have a little bit more, it's not as surprising, we have a little bit more time to think about it, that this could be a problem because number two goes into motion. So as soon as he, uh, the ball is snapped with him in motion, this is a false down that we need to shut down. Here teammate comes out of a huddle and obviously everybody is moving now. And it's, it's a little bit of an indicator that four receivers go to one side. It's probably not what they want. And sure enough, here he comes, the last one. And even though he's the last one to move, he never really gets set. Uh, so again, this is uh, everybody has to set and they don't so this is a correctly called as a false start for never getting set Here's another punt formation with the offense only having 10 players on the field and um, Here comes number 11 and we go into the mechanic now the um, the mofo doesn't specifically say anything about this, but but it's my experience that that in scrimmage kick formations it's a lot better or it can be beneficial to let the umpire cover the ball up as opposed to the center judge here the center judge tries and here he's right there uh, as the ball is, is snapped and he's nowhere near ready for the ball to be uh, put into play but uh, that's a different story if we're looking at the the 11th guy coming in um, I don't know if that you can argue that he actually manages to stand still he certainly is is not stationary as the ball is snapped and 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 far from from having a, a full second there so this is uh, correctly done uh, correctly shut down as a false start these last two examples 
are of situations where the really it's it's just too marginal for us to call we can we can let this go um, and still move on with the game uh, everybody gets set everybody is, is stationary the defense knows where everybody is uh, everybody knows the snap is imminent um, we may not have a full second uh, if you want to go uh, frame by frame but I think this is one that we can that we can leave on leave alone and move on with life same principle applies here at the last uh, example they're coming out of their huddle everybody's moving and then the last receiver at the top of the screen just barely uh, is, is set before the ball is snapped but again the defense knows the ball is, is being snapped. They know where everybody is. They're ready for it. So I think we can leave this one alone, uh, even though technically it it may not uh, fulfill the uh, the one second uh, provision. But I think if, if we start calling these, then there's a whole lot of other stuff that we have to call to be consistent and nobody wants that many flags. So I hope, um, I hope that made sense. That was the training tape and I hope you found something you can use on the field.